Hi everyone, welcome to day five of my 12 days of videos where I just start video recording and the Lord um, tells me whatever it is that he has on, on his mind or that he would like to to share with everybody. Um, again, just yesterday, confirmation about seeking him. I was reading something afterwards that was mentioning the same thing. He's always there through the fire. Will we go ahead? You know, are we going to seek him? Do we um, go towards him? And so that and so many other great stories was uh, this book right here, Seeing Through the Veil by Anna Warner. Highly recommend it. Great. Um, and again, just had so many difficulties trying to get yesterday's video uploaded. So I know that the enemy definitely um, didn't want to hear that. But regardless, we need to keep, you know, persevering, keep seeking him um, in the midst of all that. Lord, just invite you in, whatever you have for us, whatever you desire to share, whatever you would like people to know, um, to see. Uh, one thing he's saying I, I've heard uh, many times before is that whatever he gives, and in particular in this instance, you know, to me, it could be you as well to, to give that away. It's not just for me. It's for me to, to share with others, um, to give to others. So he wants to share, wants me to share an experience, um, that I had for him, you know, that was real. I mean, we've heard that, okay, you know, your men will have visions or will see, you know, dreams, um, and he will appear that way. And he does. And I know because he has, um, to me before, and this one in particular was really, um, just really moving and so real. I mean, it was a dream, but all my senses were just alive and I could remember it, you know, so vividly. And I was in the water and was water skiing because I can remember I was waiting for the boat to come around and kind of felt like there was somebody there beside me, but I couldn't really, you know, see him. And I thought it was weird because the boat was way off in the distance. And then, okay, what's, you know, what's going on? And the boat's turning around and all of a sudden, everything stops. Except for me. I mean, I could see the waves, but the waves were still, it was like time stood still. Um, that stopped. I was in kind of like this void uh, where the water was, you know, higher around me. I could still see everything off in the distance. It wasn't moving, but I could look around and see everything. And then all of a sudden, like, it started like off in the distance. I just saw this light or just had this knowledge that, oh, I was getting so excited because I'm like, oh, that means that, that means that God's coming. Jesus is coming. Uh, you know, this is going to be cool. This is going to be special. And as soon as I had that, that thought, the light just hit me, his glory. And I can't, I can't describe it in any other terms other than when it hit me that moment in the dream, I remember thinking it was like, I knew everything that there was to know in like an instant. It was, it's hard to explain, but that's that's what it was like. It was so overwhelming. Um, and so then I realized that the person next to me uh, was, you know, was Jesus. And I'm like, oh, this is cool. And so then I feel myself being raised up and... He's putting me over the waves and he's telling me to walk. And he says, do you believe that there is anything that you can't do through me? You know, I'm, I'm hovering above the water at that point in the dream. I'm like, absolutely not. Yes, I believe there's anything you can do. And so he set me down. Oh, I could, I was walking on top of the water. Everything else is still still. Time, you know, time has stood still. But I could feel the water beneath my toes. 
I was looking in towards towards the shore and you know he's just spending time with me and it was just oh, again that glory just in me that overwhelming and then he's like he reached out and took you know some light and put it into my chest um and then he said that's my glory he said but it's not just for you it's for you to share with others I'm giving this to you. I'm acting through you for others. Um, and it was so real, so vivid. I can just remember everything. And, you know, just an example that, you know, if you've had those, you know, take, take it to him. Ask him about those. He will visit you in dreams. He will give you, give you visions. Um, and it's kind of an aware, it all starts with awareness, you know, might not do great with it at first. And even still, he's, you know, revealing things about that, um, about that dream to me, um, you know, and what it means and whether, you know, be just to trust and lean into him or that he's giving me something, but I'm not to hold on to it so tight. Yes, it's for me, but he wants me to share what he's invited me into with, with other people. And so I'm being obedient and doing that with what he's um, telling me today. I had no idea he was going to do that. But just if you're having any questions or, you know, you have a dream, you have a vision, take it to him. Ask him what it's about. <laughs> he, you know, he wants to know. Ask him if it's from him. He'll let you know that too. Um, but he will do those things. There's nothing too small. There's nothing too big um, to take to him. And when we do have these experiences, you know, we need to share them with one another because so many people will tell you, oh, that doesn't happen anymore. Um, you know, that's not real. You know, you were just imagining things. And But there's so many different stories like that. Um, you know, you know, a gentleman who was visited in the hospital and, you know, Jesus came to him and was really sick with COVID and he's like, don't let him do that to you. And he didn't. And he walks out, you know, and here he is telling people how Jesus came to him. Um, he's not crazy. It happens. He wants to have that type of relationship with you. It will happen. Uh, you seek him and, and you will be amazed. Um, you know, and just a word of caution here though, is as cool as some of those experiences may be, um, you know, as awesome sounding as, as they are, we don't want to be longing after the experience. That's not really what it's about. It's about him. And the more that we search and pursue him, the more that those things will happen. But it's not the experiences that we need to be reaching after. It's him uh, that we need to be reaching after. So I'd be excited to hear what, you know, some of you have have encountered or maybe you know you hadn't talked to anybody because you thought they'd think you're crazy you know because Jesus came to you you're not <laughs> it all happens everybody's got things that they can't explain um, you know maybe not Jesus coming to them in a vision or anything like that but but be prepared because of where we're at now it's going to be happening more and more and he wants you to know that it is real that it can happen that it is possible and I want you to share whatever it is um, that he's giving uh, with everybody else because he loves to use everybody or other people to confirm as we've talked about before so oh, i had no idea that's where it was going to go tonight but uh thank you for being with me and look forward to the next couple videos and enjoy the rest of your day and lord just ask that you bless these people continue to Open their minds, open their ears, so that they may hear the truth, they may feel it in there. Give them that that knowledge, that wisdom, Lord, that they hear that kernel of truth, that they know that it's true, and it will happen for you. Thank you.